If you've been following the channel for any amount of time, you'll know that I am not what you would call a professional bash scripter. I'm not very good at it. In fact, I think if you were to describe my level of ability in bash scripting, you would use the term rank amateur. And I would agree with you. I'm not a very good bash scripter. I'm slowly getting better under the tutelage of Terminal for Life. And I don't know if you know this, but Terminal for Life has some really awesome bash scripts. And one of those bash scripts is called Auto Exec. That's the script we're going to be taking a look at tonight. And I just want to start this off by saying that the way I'm going to be looking at this is going to be from the perspective of a noob, because that's the only perspective I can really use. And and the power of Auto Exec far outpaces the level of difficulty that I can currently use in terms of bash scripting. That's not quite the that's not quite the way I should put it, but the script itself can do way more than what I can throw at it. Let's, let me just put it that way. So I'm going to be demonstrating some of what auto exec can do, but I want you to keep in mind that it can do so much more, and I will link to several videos of TFLs that will help you along in terms of what auto exec can actually do. But if you're a noob bash scripter, auto exec is really cool because it allows you to monitor what your bash script is doing live. It's basically a script that auto interprets the bash script that you're, you know, editing. And it's really, really cool. So let me show you three examples of what I've been using it for in the last couple days. And these are very, very, as I said, amateur or beginner scripts that I'm going to be showing you. So just keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and jump in. So what I've decided to do is show you the scripts and how auto exec works. And then I'll show you the page where you can actually get auto exec and how to install it. It's really easily easy. It's just a copy and paste of one line. And at least so far, I haven't found a distribution that it doesn't work on. It works on Ubuntu for sure. That's what it was created for. It works on Debian and it works on Arco. So I'm assuming that it will work pretty much on whatever distro you're using it as. And that one line that TFL has to install it is very easy just to copy and paste and run and it will just work just like it should. So if we do if I do an ls here, we'll see, oops, I got to go into the right folder of course before I can do an ls. And we do an ls here, I have three scripts. The normal hello world one, you can pretty much guess what that one does. I have one for I've been working on with if statements and I have one that I've been working on with while loops. So first, let me just go ahead and run uh, Vim into Hello World. As you can see, that does exactly what the title would suggest that it does. It echoes Hello World. It's literally the first thing you learn in any b programming language, no matter what the level of programming language it is. That's what you learn. Hello World or whatever. All this will do is print out the words Hello World. So what AutoExec does is if you run this via the alias that comes set up once you've installed auto exec you can also do auto exec like that if you want or you can just use ae and then you give it the you give auto exec either the path of the bash script or just the bash script file name if you're in that directory so in, in this case i am i am in that directory so i can just do hello world dot sh actually i'm not actually in that directory, so I gotta do CD into tutorials. Okay, now I can do a hello world, and I can just run this. And you can see it says hello world, just like you would expect if you just ran the script. Now, where the power of this comes in is that you can make changes. So let's just say I wanted to change the, the word world and just say hello pseudoers. I can save this. And as you can see, AutoExec automatically changed it to what you would expect it to output if you ran the script. So that is really cool, right? It automatically runs the script while you're still basically editing it. Uh, normally, if you wanted to do this, you'd have to write and quit out of this. You'd have to dot slash hello world dot sh, and it would then output the output of the command or output of the script. But with auto exec, you can actually go through and have it do this live. So if we then back into hello world.sh and we change this to something different, so to say like hello, um, hello, t 
terminal for life. And then we save this again. Again, it changes just like you'd expect it to. That is obviously the most simple use of auto exec that you can imagine, but it kind of gives you an idea of what it could do because this works with any bash script. It works with Perl scripts, it works with Python, although it didn't work with the Python script that I have for whatever reason, but it should work with Python. And it so the GitHub page basically says it will work with quite a few languages. And that's great if you're learning, you know, Python or you're learning Perl or you're learning whatever, you can have this set up and as you go through and make changes to your script, you can have output to auto exec and you can monitor the output of the script and it will actually tell you let's just say I have an error here let's just delete the quotation marks and we'll see what this comes out with we should get an error and we do see it actually shows you that I have an error and what line it's on live while we're there and if I go through and actually fix this if I'm back if I get back into the proper focus and I save that we should go back to having it work just fine and it does so as you can see you can see how powerful that could possibly be if you're doing even just the simplest of scripting no matter what language you're using so let's go ahead and take a look at one of the other scripts something that's a little bit more complicated than just using a simple echo echo command so i'm going to quit out of auto exec you can do that by con hitting control c that's, that's just the exit command and then i'll get out of this here and we'll vim into ifs.sh. Now I have an if, an if statement here. And I'm really proud of this if statement because I'm finally learning what this stuff actually means. Before I could just go to whatever website and copy and paste it off from someone else. And, you know, it would work, but I would have no clue what I was actually doing. But I'm finally getting to the point where I can say, you know what, this is what this does and understand it. So if they say the best way to learn something is to teach it. So I'm going to actually walk you through what this little if statement does. So if the input of the command is greater than 100, then it will print, whoa, big number, bro. Otherwise, it will print out, that's a puny number you have there, and then it just ends the if statement. So the way this works, let me open up auto exec again, and this is called ifs.sh. It will actually tell you, tell me that I made a mistake. So what mistake did I make? This particular script requires some kind of input from the user. So if I get out of auto exec and run that again, but give it the number 150, it's going to say, whoa, big number there, bro. And that fits the if command just fine. If I get out of auto exec again and give this the number 99, it'll say, that's a puny number you have there. So the user input part of it is something that you'd have to exit auto exec and then get back into. But if I were to make a change here, so we gave this last number that we gave it was 99. So if I went up here and changed the 100 here to 85 and then save this, it'll actually change what the output is to whoa, big number, bro. So that's how if statements work in auto exec. It does it does the test here and then it prints this. If it's not if it is true, if not if that's not true, it runs this. And again, you can imagine if you have a much longer bash script or whatever script and you have several of these things, it will actually run through these things live from whatever input that the script necessitates. It's really, really cool. So one more example. While loops. Now I'm very much a noob when it comes to while loops. So I'm going to vim into a wa my while loop here, and I'm going to see once again if I can explain this to you. So I've set a variable v equals 0. So I've done while variable is less than or equal to 10. Do the following, echo, number, and then the variable, and then we're going to inc increment the variable one at a time and tell it this is no longer true and then it's going to exit out of the loop. So that's how this particular while loop functions. And I'm very proud of myself for being able to explain that. So let's go ahead and run auto exec on whiles.sh. And as you can see, this actually works. It goes through and lists out the numbers zero through 10 
and then it exits. It's just done. Now, let's make a go ahead and make a change. If I set this variable to 5, it should only print out a few numbers. So it does 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Because that's how long that while loop will run, because that's how long v is less than or equal to 10. So that's how while loops work. So that's auto exec. And I'll show you how to install it in just a second. But just to kind of summarize what this is for, is it's a live, it gives you the ability to see the edits of your scripts live. And it's really, really cool. And it's really, really powerful. But like I said at the beginning, I've only just scratched the surface. So I'm going to leave a few links in the video description to uh, Terminal for Life's uh, channel where he talks about auto exec and you'll be able to see some of the stuff that he does with it and it's just going to blow your mind the the it's going to make the stuff that i did here you know just seem very very amateur but you can also see if you're just learning something how this can also kind of help you out because it's going to tell you automatically if you have an error because it's running live it's going to and you can be able to see if you have a success because if it goes through and does what you expect it to do you'll see the output it's great so if you want to install AutoExec, you need to head to Terminal for Life's GitHub here in the extra repository, and it's under Source. And I'll leave a link to this in the video description as well. And basically, the, how you install it is just by copying this one command. Uh, if you don't have curl install, uh, he gives you the option of using wget. Chances are, if you probably, if you don't have one installed, you'll have the other installed, but just go ahead and do sudo apt install curl. There are many things that you can use curl for, so you probably can just install it. It's very easy. You can also do that in, in arch sudo pacman dash capital S curl. Like I said, curl is used for many things, so installing it's not going to hurt you. And then you can just copy and paste this command, go to a terminal, paste it, and then hit the enter key. Now, I'm not going to run it again because I've already obviously installed AutoExec, but if you just do this here, it's going to automatically run the AutoExec installer. It will set up the alias of AE so that you don't have to type it out automatically. You can just use AE, and then you can just run it on whatever scripts you happen to have. Now, what I'm going to show you before I go is how this runs on things that aren't Bash. So if I do an LS here, I have a script called tlc.pl. Now, this is a Perl script that was written for me by Terminal for Life that shows my current YouTube subscriber count. And if I just run this, it actually just put, outputs my current subscriber count. That's all it does. But if I go through, and let's just show you what the script is. I don't know anything about Perl, so I can't tell you how complicated or uncomplicated this is. It looks like rocket science to me. Um, but... You know, it's cool. So if I go ahead and run auto exec on this, you can see it just goes through and outputs the same thing that the script did when I just ran the script in the terminal. And I'm not going to make any change to this because I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. But if you're a Perl developer or you're just getting into learning Perl, you could go through and do the same thing you could do with Bash in this. And you can do it with other languages as well. So it's you can see how how very powerful this could be if you're not only learning or if you're even if you're not learning, you're actually scripting and you want to have an, a live output of your script or your program. So if you're any type of scripter or programmer out there, I would definitely say go check out AutoExec. You can find it in the link description below. Check out Terminal for Life's channel. He does a ton of this stuff for scripting in Perl and Bash. You won't be sorry. Again, link in the video description below. Thanks everyone for watching. If you'd like to contact me, you can do so at the LinuxCast. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. Before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank my current patrons, Devon, Chris, East Coast Web, Gen 2 is Fun 2, Marcus, Meglin, Sven, Jackson, Knife and Tool, Joshua Lee, Mitchell, Arch, Sinner, Merrick, Camp, and Mr. Fox. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.